Today we are talking about three easy tricks to spice up your ghost note grooves. Let's do this. What's up drummers, welcome into today's lesson. This one is all about ghost notes. Now ghost notes are super fun. Let's just not deny the fact. They are super fun to play. We get so many cool sounds out of them. They can add so much texture, drive and rhythmic interest to your grooves. But generally we always play the same thing. Now that basic ghost note groove is musical, it's effective, and it works. And the reason it works is because it's easy to play. We have a ghost note on the E of one and the A of two, and then repeat that on the E of three and the A of four. They are far enough away from the backbeat that you don't have to have any sort of advanced technique or advanced hand technique to be able to play it. And it works at so many different tempos from both slow to fast. So I'm gonna show you three tricks that I use on a daily basis to spice up my ghost note grooves. So to grow that pattern, that original, effective musical groove, but make it a bit more interesting to listen to, to hear on a record, and to play as a drummer. So tip one, the underhand hi-hat. So what's that? Well, an underhand hi-hat is where instead of coming out to play the hi-hat, so we can be grooving away like this, we can actually play it without moving too much and we get this. So to play it, instead of moving out from the hi-hat, you're gonna come under, it's like a whipping motion, it's like a backhand tennis kind of swipe motion. Now the great thing about this is unlike the normal way of playing it where you come out and play on top of the hi-hat, you get two different textures. So you've got your kind of right hand playing a different sound on the hi-hat and then you get a very thick, chunky sound with the whip, the underhand. That creates a little bit more rhythmic interest, like we talked about, a bit more texture. And it's just a really nice sound, I think, a really appealing, groovy sound. Now here's a little tip that I find very useful to make sure I'm really hitting that, that underhand accurately. And that's to move the right hand very slightly out the way. Now you don't wanna play all the time like this, where you're always closed off. You wanna be sort of in a more natural, relaxed position. However, playing underhand, you're gonna hit the stick. So if you come over a little bit, we can kind of whip up for that quick note and then get back into position. Now let's put that into context. We're gonna play a ghost note groove, normal standard thing, but we're gonna put every single ghost note up on the hi-hat using this underhand technique. That sounds like this. So now, just because we don't want to have, you know, always a normal ghost note or always an underhand, here's an example of just playing the ah ghost notes. Now, of course, you can mix and match and create different longer phrases. That sounds like this. Now tip number two is to use a buzz stroke instead of your standard straight up ghost note. Now, you can do a long buzz or you can do a short buzz. Neither one is right or wrong. They create different textures, different shapes and different sort of emotions out of your groove. So make sure you mix and match. 
Let's try and play all of the ghost notes as a short buzz. Now let's put it on the E and let's make it a longer buzz. And finally, let's just mix and match. We'll do some long, we'll do some short. We'll just try some different ideas, see if we can create some different textures. Okay, so I really like the buzz. I really like the underhand hi-hat. But one of my favorite sounds is to use the left foot, and that is tip number three. Substitute the ghost note on the left hand for a left foot. Now it's gonna be a bit of coordinational challenge here, so you gotta make sure that you're slowing it down, working it out, but basically we're just gonna put every single ghost note on the left foot instead of the left hand. That sounds like this. Now one of my favorite places to put it is to actually put it before the backbeat, to put it just before the two, so it would be the, the A of one and the A of three. Now that's not our traditional ghost note pattern, but now that we're playing it on the left foot, it becomes a bit easier to play. Check it out, I really like this sound. So once you've got all these different ideas and any ideas that you come up with, it's really important to start to combine them. So let me just give you a demo of me playing around using underhand hi-hat, buzz strokes, left foot ghost notes, and even just playing normal ghost notes, because that's a thing as well. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you give these ideas a go in your own playing, in your own grooves, in your own sort of styles and ideas that you have. But if you like this video, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe and smash that notification bell just so you don't miss out on any new lessons because you don't wanna miss out on all this cool stuff. I'll see you later.